Hello and welcome to a new series here on One Minute Architecture called Timelines. In it, we will look at the lives of many Japanese architects. Let's go back in time with Kenzo Tange. We can divide Tange's professional life into five phases. The first phase is according to Isuzaki called the Silent Period. The year is 1942 and at the height of the Second World War, a 29-year-old Tange has won the first prize in the design competition for the Greater East Co-Prosperity Sphere Memorial Hall. This project was never built and Tange would never mention the project in his life again. During his second phase, he would look for a design methodology which would incorporate some of Japan's traditional architectural construction language within his modernist buildings. We can call this his Jomon period. Notable projects include the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Hall of 1949, the Takamatsu City Hall of 1958 and the Kurashiki Town Hall. During the mid-1960s, Tange started to design using organic shapes, which resulted in some of his most beautiful buildings, such as the St. Mary's Cathedral, the Yoyogi National Gymnasium Stadium, and the Kagawa Prefectural Gymnasium. All these buildings were completed in 1964. As he stood at the cradle of it, I call this phase his metabolist phase. Following his height of national fame, Tange went international and a couple of decades stretching from the 1970s into the 1980s, he had more projects under construction abroad than in Japan. I will call this his period of exile. In the late 1980s he won again a few prestigious Japanese projects, but I think his design has gone downward with projects such as the Tokyo Gas Building and other painfully bad projects such as the Yokohama Museum of Art or the Fuji TV station. I propose to call this his rubbish period. I find it amazing how such a fantastic architect can end his career on such a low note.